morning, Perrin here. Oh, it's me, darling. Uh, hello. How are you? Uh, not too bad. Haven't slept a wink. Otherwise, fine. It's about Mother, Reggie. Oh, yes. <laughs> are you still there, Reggie? Uh, yes, yes, still here, darling. Yes. She's not at all well. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, yes, still here, darling. But she's got to go into hospital. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So I'll have to stay over another day. Yes. You'll have to cancel the dinner party and yes. put the CJs off. Yes, I'll tell you what, darling. Shall I cancel the dinner party and put the CJs off? <laughs> yes, I think that'd be best, yes. All right, bye-bye, uh, Take care of yourself, darling. Thank you, yes. Have a good day at the office. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Tissues, Reggie. Ursula's forgotten my. Oh, no, sorry, Peter, I haven't. No. You can use my greater Manchester development plan supplement if you like. <laughs> no, I will not put the CJs off. I'll have some fun instead. I will not cancel the dinner party. I'll just cancel the dinner. Dinner party without food. Very good. <laughs> yes, excellent. Dinner party without food. Excellent. Absolute berry lands. Take a letter, would you? To the traffic manager, British Rail, Southern Region. Dear sir, despite my letter of Friday last, I see you. That's right, cross those lovely legs. Huh? Despite, okay. uh, despite my letter of Friday last, I see you have still taken no action in the matter of the late arrival of trains at Waterloo. This morning, my train arrived, as always, 11 minutes late. It is rapidly becoming apparent to me that you are not only not competent to hold your job, you could not even run a game of strip poker in a Turkish brothel. <laughs> it should be obvious, even to a retarded hamster, that must make that Belgian hamster, would you? <laughs> retarded Belgian hamster, that all of your trains should be retimed to take 11 minutes longer. Uh, P.S. During the pollen season, Peter Cartwright's sneezing is rather offensive to those who, like myself, are allergic to sneezing. And this morning he blew his nose on the Greater Manchester Development Plan supplement, a sound enough environmental comment, but not a pretty sight. <laughs> so why don't you divide your carriages into sneezers and non-sneezers? You all say, anything wrong, John? No. no. Oh, by the way, John, I'm giving a little dinner party tonight, um, at, 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 uh, without food, at eight o'clock. Um, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I, I've already invited some people. Would, would you invite for me uh, David Harris-Jones? And Davina Letts Wilkinson from Custards, with her Custards. And, um, <laughs> oh yes, uh, my uncle, Percy Spillinger, Spillinger Towers, Abinger Hammer. Yes, if he doesn't put the cat among the pigeons, I don't know who will. <laughs> I shan't invite you, Joan, because I like you. Hello. Yes, he is, CJ. Oh, yes. uh, morning, CJ. I want to see you, Reggie. Yes, certainly, CJ. Yeah, well, any time this morning will suit me best. Yes. Certainly, CJ. Seeing CJ, 2.30 this afternoon. <laughs> To the, uh, to the general, to the general secretary. Sweet, yes, come in, uh, Mr. Perrin. Yes, uh, Campbell Lewiston, German Sales. Uh, C.J. told me you'd like to see me the moment I arrive. Really? How extraordinary! Well, we all make mistakes. Yes. <laughs> yes, so, uh, when exactly would you like to see me? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, C.J. Well, I, I, I thought well, well any time this morning would suit me best. Excellent. See you 4:30 tomorrow afternoon. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we yes. To the uh, to the general set. No, Joan. I've got a feeling I've seen that uh, chap somewhere before. 
<laughs> to the uh, to the gym, Joan. Yes, Mr. Perry. You have lovely breasts. Oh. Uh, <laughs> to, the, uh, to, the, to the general secretary, sweetening additives, dental decay research council, abscess house, Bournemouth. Yes, sir. Thank you for your breasts of the twenty. I'm sorry. Make that, <laughs> make that guidelines. Would you thank you for your guidelines of the twenty ninth breast? We, um, <laughs> Ah, Reggie, there you are. Right, Sit down. Yes, yes, especially pleased with you, Tony. Great. <laughs> Sorry, Reggie. You You're going places in this firm sooner than you think. Great. Thank you, Davina. Thank you, Tony. Careful of the chairs. <laughs> Thanks for the invite for tonight, Reggie. Gorgeous. Good. Yes, now, Reggie, I want you to make a speech on Friday at the British Fruit Association Seminar at Bilbury Hall. Oh, my God. Wonderful, CJ. <laughs> well, some fellow was going to talk on improvements in kitchen hygiene, but he's had to cry off with food poisoning. <laughs> I want you to talk on the role of luxury desserts in a competitive industrial society. Oh, my God. Wonderful, CJ. <laughs> I've decided on the title for your speech myself. <clears throat> Wonderful, CJ. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm sorry, Sir John. I meant to say, uh, wonderful out loud and oh my God to myself. Uh, I mean, uh, oh my God. <laughs> the title of the speech is, Are We Getting Our Just Desserts? <laughs> Reggie. Uh, yes, he did. Are you sure you can handle this speech? You seem to be losing your powers of concentration. Yeah, it's just not sleeping too well, Sidney. I don't think I'm losing my powers of... Um, what do you say? Sorry. Concentration! <laughs> Changing room. Changing room? Yes. I, I just remembered where I'd met Campbell Lewiston before, CJ. Uh, we were at school together. He bit me in the changing room. <laughs> Campbell Lewiston? Yes. Are you sure? I find that out. I didn't get where I am today biting people in the changing room. I imagine not, CJ. Mm. Now, about your dinner party this evening, <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> yes, CJ. Reggie. Uh, Mrs. C.J. and I are looking forward to this evening immensely. Yes. But I must warn you that Mrs. C.J. doesn't see eye to eye with our Pisine friends. Mm -hmm. Fish! Yes, yes, C.J., absolutely. No fish, no. No, fish. no meat, nothing. <laughs> I hope this doesn't upset any apple carts. Uh, no, no apple carts. No, sir, it doesn't upset any, C.J. No. If you don't like something, you don't like it. A very shrewd observation, C.J. It's no use kicking against the pricks. No, C.J. <laughs> Neither Mrs. C.J. nor I have ever kicked against the pricks. I imagine not, CJ. Send Harris Jones in, will you? Goodbye, Reggie. Bye, Sorry, CJ. Oh, oh, come in, Reggie. Not at all pleased with your present work. Sorry, CJ. Sorry, CJ. Oh. To say, what a lovely dress, Davina. Yes, shows off the best legs in the convenience foodstuffs industry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Down, what a gorgeous are. room. Yes, isn't Your it? wife must be so clever. Yes, yes, but please help yourselves. Help yourselves. Thanks. Gorgeous. Yes. How many people are coming? Uh, uh, five. Super. This is welcome. CJ gave me a grilling today. <laughs> CJ is a pig. Yes. Who else is coming? CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he tell me? Just like a man. This dress isn't CJ at all. CJ is the last person in the world I want to see. Hello, CJ. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Uh, here we all are. Well, I think everybody's here now. May I introduce everybody? There's a uh, uh, CJ, Mrs. CJ, Miss. Oh yes, you know each other. Uh, Davina Let's Wilkinson with Cust uh, from Custards, and uh, uh, David Harris Jones, my uncle, Percy Spillinger, Spillinger Tires. Yes. <laughs> we met in the drive. He nearly knocked me down. Oh, I say, what a lovely pair. <laughs> <laughs> Scotland. The Algarve. Yes. I didn't get where I am today without knowing the Algarve when I see it. Quite right, CJ. I buy them from my dentist. I once bought six sets of false teeth from a Maletto greengrocer in Marrakesh. 
I thought I, I might meet a chap one day, lost his choppers. They'd be, they'd be worth their weight in gold. Yes. <laughs> well, this is nice. Yes, isn't it? Yes, looking forward to this, Reggie. Yes. No lunch today. Yes, and no dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I always think the secret of a successful party is the right mix of people, don't you? I'm sorry Elizabeth can't be here. Her hippopotamus isn't well. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. I know just how she feels. Uh, you've got one, I see. Yes. I hate being ill. Mm. Makes me feel so... You. Yes, quite. I yes. say you haven't half got a sturdy pair of pins on you. <laughs> Fancy walking across the hayfields with me. I think the weather's looking up again. Yes, you're talking too much. <laughs> Mrs. Spillinger had pins like yours. We buried her at Ponder's End. <laughs> Will drink, anybody? <laughs> Well, I thought well, you'd do today, the quickest piece. <laughs> uh, Olive, uh, Mrs. Cedrano? No, 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 thank you. No. I must leave room for what's to come. When it comes. If it comes. <laughs> <laughs> These little mats are nice. There's some kind of a bird on mine. Oh, green woodpecker. I once bought a stuffed woodpecker at Chipping Norton. <laughs> I like a nice relaxed get-together, don't you, Mrs. Eder? <laughs> Golden Eagle on my mat. Yes. What's this on mine? A hedge sparrow? You know a lot about birds, Davina. I used to go out with an ornithologist. Lucky fellow. He wouldn't need his binoculars to see your knockers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very good. What are those little balls? There isn't a vase in the rum, woman. Yes, well, I thought as it was such a lovely evening, I thought, um, the garden. Oh, the oh, gut nice eating in the garden. Nice. Well done, Reggie. Oh, oh, shall we bring our drinks? Oh, that's so nice. Nice. Oh, my glass. Oh, I think. Oh, I'm so hungry I could eat. <laughs> lovely garden, Reggie. Somebody's got green fingers. Yes, 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 indeed. Yes. Well, shall we go into the dining room? The dining room at last! Yes. I do, I'm hungry now. See the garden first? Oh, this is the, uh, the dining room. Supper, supper, supper. I thought you'd like to see it. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. Um, what a nice table. Yes. Super. <laughs> Well, it certainly isn't supper. There isn't. There isn't any. <laughs> yes, I might as well tell you why I've invited you all round here and I'm not going to give you anything to eat. I think we live in a world where we're far too greedy and there isn't enough food to go around. What you would have had this evening would have been liver pate, sole menu, guinea fowl in red wine, lemon meringue pie. Instead, I'm going to send a cheque for £20 to Oxfam. All right? What a lovely gesture. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yes. And you would have all had to invite me back so you can all send a cheque for £20 to Oxfam as well. Hey? <laughs> Not the drink, Cursey, Jane? Well, no, well, no, well, no, well, no, you don't like a word, Reggie. Hello. Oh, uh, hello, darling, it's me. I just... You've just I... woken me up. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I, I just rang up to say the evening went off very well. What went off very well? You cancelled the dinner party, didn't you? Uh, yes, I, I cancelled the dinner part of the party. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what I mean is my evening at home went off very well, that's right, yes. What do you mean? Uh, well, my reading a book uh, and watching television went off very well. It, uh, it was a great success. Oh, good. I'm very tired, darling. Good night. Uh, yeah. Good night, darling. <laughs> It's me. I, I, I just rang up to say I'm sorry I woke you up just now. You've just woken me up again. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Oh. I'm sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> Darling, I, 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 I hope it's not too early. I couldn't sleep a wink. I just rang up to say I'm sorry I kept waking you up last night. You've just woken me up again. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, darling. Uh, I was, uh, yeah. Oh, my God, I'd forgotten all about you. Come on. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 
don't remember any of this, do you? No. I said, have another drink. You had another seven. Seven? <laughs> then you asked CJ for the last waltz. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was before your trousers came down. My trousers came down. I don't suppose there's a greater majesty development plan. Oh, uh, no. Sorry, Peter. No. Uh, David, let you have my face, family, if you like. Uh, uh, David Harris-Jones, Peter Cartwright. Peter Cartwright, David Harris-Jones. My trousers came down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing my underpants with a picture of Beethoven. Yes, on them. we know. <laughs> what did CJ say? He didn't seem too for that. Oh, good. He was more worried about Uncle Percy's suggestion you were probably a puff. Effective axle at once, but let's take a letter with you, John, to the Walloon Raspberry Commune Bruges. Thank you for your letter of the 17th alt, uh, explaining the reason for the mushiness of your early raspberries. May I point out that this is the third time in the last three years, and we'll make that the fourth time, John. This is the fourth time in the last three years, and that this has occurred. Um, <laughs> Late is never late. Can't be ill. Take a letter, Joan. Certainly, Mr. Phelan. <laughs> Ready when you are, Mr. Phelan. Uh, 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 come in. Uh, oh, Joan. Oh, uh, uh, come in and sit down. Uh, feeling a little chesty. We'll, uh, we'll soon have you examined. It isn't about me, Dr. Morrissey. Oh, pity. Oh, well, um, can I get you something to drink? Oh, thank you. Uh, would you like uh, cough mixture, cod liver oil, syrup of figs? Uh, I've, I've got quite a nice little mouthwash. Well, I don't think I will have a drink after all. Oh, no. It's mm. about Mr. Perrin, Doctor. Ah, oh, yes. Well, do you know what's wrong with him? Uh, yes, I do. Middle age, exhaustion, boredom, anxiety, self-disgust, misery, sense of inferiority, uh, dislike of industry, dislike of instant pudding, 25-year itch, fear, insecurity, frustration. What can we do about it? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> there must be something I can do. You could try being a little nicer to him, I suppose. That might help. I see. Are you sure you aren't a little chesty? No. Uh, well, uh, let me examine you anyway. Go on. Uh, uh, do a cart food with your uncle. Go on. No. <laughs> June, don't worry about Reggie. He's brought things to a crisis. That's good. Is it? Oh, yes. If I know anything at all about medicine, it means he's over the worst. No, you really must go a little more slowly, Mr. Perrin. You really expect far too much of me. <laughs> oh, oh, you've noticed, yes. Well, I had it done specially for you. You like it? Good. No, I haven't got a boyfriend at the moment, Mr. Perrin. Well, I like you, of course I like you. You know very well of it. I've, I've always felt it. I've, I've always... You know, Jen, I've always felt very worried about you taking a dictation in this chair here. Yeah? So, uh, I was just testing it while you were out to see if it's comfortable. Is it comfortable? Yes, it is yes, very comfortable. Yes, good, com very good. Will you carry on taking dictation in this chair? Very good. CJ. Oh. Uh, morning, CJ. I want to see you, Reggie. Yeah, certainly, CJ. Uh, straight away, it suits me best. Certainly, CJ. Seeing CJ straight away. Uh, oh. <laughs> Come. Morning, Reggie. CJ. Sit down. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> Sorry, CJ. I suppose I ought to apologise for last night. Nonsense. You had a point, even if you had an odd way of making it. I am human, you know. Yes, of course, E.J. Uh, yes, you're very human. But I'm also old-fashioned, Reggie. I like my employees to have moral standards. For example, I didn't like that dress the Let's Wilkinson woman was almost wearing last night. That sort of thing encourages hanky-panky. Yes, E.J. We aren't one of those dreadful firms where people can engage willy-nilly in hanky-panky with their secretaries. Certainly not, E.J. Neither Mrs. C.J. nor I has ever indulged willy-nilly in hanky-panky with our secretaries. I imagine not, C.J. And I'm worried about Harris Jones and his fancy underpants. Send him in, please, madam. Do you think he's a pansy? Oh, good Lord, no, C.J. 
Never felt any stray fingers around your nether regions. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Mm. Oh, there you are. Come on. In, sit down. Thank you, CJ. Oh, hi, David. Mm. Cigar? Mm. No, thank you, CJ. I, I, I don't smoke cigars. Uh-huh. <laughs> girlfriend doesn't like them, eh? Mm. I, I, I don't have a girlfriend, CJ. <laughs> You went to a boarding school, didn't you? Yes, CJ. I wonder if you're cut out for this kind of life, David. Perhaps you'd be better off running a boutique or a wine bar or a hairdressing salon. <laughs> there are plenty of opportunities open for the gifted homosexual. Mm. How dare you suggest that I'm a homosexual? Sit down! Yes, CJ. <laughs> Sorry, CJ. <laughs> Why does the suggestion that you're a homosexual annoy you so much? I, 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 I'm nothing against homosexuals. In fact, some of my best friends. No, <laughs> <that's good. laughs> it's just that I'm not one. Fair enough. Reggie? Yes, you Perhaps you would like to deal with the rest of this. <coughs> Certainly, Yes. You see, David, what CJ is wondering, and he does have a point. <laughs> what? Yes. What? Yeah, uh, well, sorry, what CJ is wondering, uh, David, is, is whether it is right for an executive of this firm uh, to wear underpants decorated with the face of Ludwig van Beethoven. Exactly. I didn't get where I am today wearing underpants decorated with Beethoven. I should have thought a man's underpants were his own affair. Oh, you would, would you? Well, we'll see Webster's. Send Webster in for me. <laughs> you see, uh, you see, David, well, what CJ feels is that although it is generally held uh, uh, in this country that a man's, uh, an Englishman's underpants are his castle and that under our constitution they are deemed suitable and innocent until proved guilty, uh, there could be occasions when, uh, when there may, in a traffic accident, for example, uh, when that may, or, 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 or a sex orgy at a bugged hotel in Omsk, where that might not be so. Come. Ah, yes. Now then. Tony. Reggie would like a word with you. I, I'd like, yes, I'd like a word with you. Uh, yeah. What would you say if I asked you to show me your underpants? I'd assume there was a good reason for it. Oh, would you mind showing us your underpants, then? Not at all. Oh. Plain blue, excellent choice. Splash of colour, not inconsistent with executive dignity. Great. Well? Oh, all right. I admire Beethoven. I was in Bonn. They were 73% terraline and reduced. There's nothing more to be said, thank you, gentlemen. Stay behind, Reggie! <laughs> well? Oh, if you insist, CJ, certainly. <laughs> no, 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 You didn't enjoy that, did you, Reggie? I thought it was ludicrous, CJ. Yes. Well, you should have said so. Are you frightened of me, Reggie? Do you regard me as some kind of monster? No, of course not, CJ. You all right, Reggie? Uh, yes, I'm not, not sleeping too well, CJ. I'm worried about you, Reggie. I'm watching you closely. Goodbye, Reggie! Someone before? Yes. We were at school together. Little pig bit me in the changing room. Yes. Come in. Oh, careful, Lewiston. Come in. Come in. Yes. Have some coffee, Joe? Yes. Oh, do sit down, Campbell Lewiston, you little twit. What? Uh, well, uh, how are things in Germany? Well, we're beginning to make headway. Uh, some of our mooses are holding their own in the Rhenish Palatinate, and the flans are cleaning up in Schleswig Holstein. Oh, good. I may be able to get a bit of sleep now, I know that. <laughs> what a stupid face. Yes. And what about the powdered bakewell tart mix? Is that uh, selling like hotcakes, is it? Well, well, not too well, I'm afraid. Oh, like <laughs> hotcakes, very really good. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the tin treacle pudding proving sticky, is it? <laughs> <laughs> very good. Treacle pudding <laughs> sticky. <laughs> you're a bit of a wag. Yes, I am, and you're a bit of a... Yes. Campbell <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> I remember you very well. Campbell Lewiston, E.L., Rutting Stag College, small bore rifle team. Good Lord, of course. Goofy pet. 
Are I Perrin? Yes, you know very well for yourself, you little squirt. <laughs> yes, thank heavens for small boars, for small boars get bigger every day. <laughs> yes, I really, I'm sorry, yes, I really must uh, congratulate you on the work you've been doing in Germany, Gamble Lowe, Thank you. Yes, yes. Remember the day you bit me in the changing room, little swine? <laughs> bit you in the changing yes, room? you've done awfully I... well with the, uh, I'm sorry, you're saying? No, 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 sorry. You've done awfully well with the flans in Schleswig-Holstein, and what we'd like you to do now is pave the way for our new exotic ice range, uh, Mango Delight, Fix Surprise, Strawberry and Lychee Ripple. You find all the facts you want in this brochure here. I can't believe yes. it. I, I've never bitten anyone. Now, initially, we were... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm? You never bit... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Initially, we would like you to... Uh, yes, I had the tooth marks for a fortnight. You know, I told everybody that my first love bite. Love bite? <laughs> yes. I, initially... I'm sorry. You saying? No, 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 no. Initially, we'd like you to try out the, uh, the uh, exotic ice creams uh, in a typical German town. Are there any typical German towns? Well, all, all German towns are typical. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular way you'd like me to promote the ice? Mm -hmm. Still breaking wind all the time, are you? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you were good for in those days. Everybody used to say Campbell Lewis had stand a better chance of hitting the target if he ate a tin of curried beans stood with his back to it. <laughs> I, I didn't come here being something like that. Right, I thought it was something like this, and you don't clean your teeth properly as slovenly soft. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? I think I'm the bloke in charge of the exotic ISIS project, and therefore I am the bloke in charge of you. And I was very impressed, Campbell Lewis, with that article you wrote on the techniques of freezing powdered junket in the international deep freeze news. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I, can't I, I, I hope it would be all right. Absolutely, Bob. Then jolly nice to see you. Oh, thank you. Really, very really nice. nice. All, all, all those names and uh, insults. It was sort of a, a middle management test. Oh, yes, of course. You didn't realise. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes, it's the latest thing. The industrial psychologist, <laughs> yes. yes. Try it on the Germans. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must go. Yes. Oh. Right. Well, jolly nice to see you again. Come, good luck in Germany with a flat. Yes, you slimy creep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are, Reggie. That are my notes for your speech. Oh, thank you, Hello, CJ. Hello. Or should I say, slimy creep? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about Campbell Euston, CJ. <laughs> Tonight's programme, the reorganisation of Britain's water boards, what does it mean to you, the oil shake who's bought Lincolnshire, and polystyrene wine racks, do they cause wars? An <laughs> <laughs> amazing new prize-winning silent Norwegian comedy about social problems on the tundra. Hello, darling. Hello, Jan, I just rang you up to see, see if you were all right. I do miss you. Yes, I, I, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, darling, but it had to happen. And I'm sorry about everything that's going to happen, but I'm afraid it just has got to happen. Yes, I, 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 I am sorry about your mother, and I promise never to think of her again as a... As a... <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 darling, yes, I, I miss you. Yes, oh, let's, let's talk. Yes, let's talk for hours, darling. Yes, to hell with the phone bill, yes. Who cares about the phone bill? Somebody's got to make the post office work. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, darling, I just rang you up to say how you were. So I just do miss you. Hello, darling. Just... Hello, hello. Oh, hello, darling. Hello, I just, you just I just. Me up again? Oh, darling, I am sorry. You know I just. I go to bed early yes, at yes, darling. I was just. Yes, darling. I, no, but I, I, I just rang up to say I miss you. No. Oh. God. 